Probably every one of these stanchions need to come up. There's a 22 Magnum. God bless America. Can I have that? There's a roll top desk. I dance like a white dude. That's all right. backyard and we're it's Taiwan build we're interested you know let's let's dig into this thing let's see what we've got is, right. is it worth buying let's find out so it looks like she just got a new prop that's really nice um, we need to put bolts on here if we get it and uh, new zincs so that's great the boat did just get new bottom paint which I'm really excited about but it still needs fiberglass work. Um, it looks like all the fiberglass work wasn't done before they painted it. So we would have to finish the fiberglass work and then come back and then touch up the paint. So right down here. So we have a crack here and it actually goes under all the way. And it's actually like, this is pretty minor compared to like what it feels like down here. This is a pretty big deal underneath here. It's, it's pretty wide and it's open. So we definitely would want to patch that up and then repaint that part of the bottom before you ever put it in the water and I think there's a couple other spots as well let's go see all right as far as the hole goes there's a giant gash right here they've hit something because that looks jammed into the hole big stress cracks come down I don't know they feel it look like they come down in here they may go down into the bottom paint these bubbles I think they're just resin base or not water where they didn't stick to the layup schedule and that'd be easy just sand it down and paint over it i don't know may shoot a little gel coat over it but the biggest problem with all this fiberglass is going to be tough is these lines going in here once you cut up grind all this out and go to patch over it you're gonna have to fix your patch with these little lines and i've never done any all my glass work's been on flat or rounded surfaces, nothing textured like that. So that'd be fun if I could do it. Yeah, all this new bottom paint looks pretty good. Uh, I still think we put new through holes on, you know, all around. And um, yeah, I think I think pretty much the rest of the hole looks good. I'm not really worried about the rest of it. So we'll walk around and look. This boat does have a bow thruster, which is pretty cool. A uh, big, heavy, single-engine boat. Never hurts to have a bow thruster, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, yeah, so far, everything up here at the bow looks pretty decent. There's some things here that we would probably... Um, we'd probably change some of these out, put new stainless ones on. But yeah, this stuff up here looks pretty good. There's a speedometer here, but nobody needs one because we have GPS. Speedometer. I do know this. I wouldn't trust any of these through holes. Different transducer. Everything. It's on It's on the hard. We did get this. Everything on the bottom would be replaced or deleted. There's a lot of stuff left on here that's no point in having anymore. There's obviously water coming out of this bracket that's covered up. I don't know anything about that. Sailboats are new to me as far as working on them. Some of this stuff, but... I wish I had a hammer. But... Yeah, so something needs to be 
Somebody knows more than me needs to explain that to me. Not to mention there's a lot more blisters, bubbles, whatever you call them here. This isn't latched on to anything. Alright, don't let me fall. Want me to hold the top of the ladder for you? No, I'm good. Okay. So, from what I understand, this rigging is about five years old. I mean, I don't, like, feel anything obvious, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I do know that we're going to have trouble with this mast. Because if you'll come right over here, I'll show you. So, the mast is actually kind of sinking through here. And I, I've looked at this boat already once, and I know that when you go down below, it's, um it's like going through the wooden floor so we're gonna have to like take the whole mast out paint it work on it and and just remedy this whole thing we'll talk more about that when we get down below there aren't any soft spots on the deck at least i can't i haven't found any while there may not be any big soft spots in the deck we know that like everything on this deck we're gonna have to pretty much pull it out and maybe I don't know, maybe put new fiberglass? I, we don't know to what extent that could be, but here, I'll show you. So these are your stanchions, right? Um, so basically where all of these meet the deck, there's there's been water intrusion. So through all of these little screws over the years, water gets inside and it makes the deck soft around them. So it's not just stanchions, it's everything that's bolted into this deck is doing that. Uh, and, and that's why I say we don't really know like to what extent like are we gonna have to pull it up and replug the screws and and make them you know where they're not taking on any more water and just let it go or are we gonna have to actually put some fiberglass in those areas that's yet to be seen but still every probably every one of these stanchions need to come up and a, a lot of these other things around the deck we're gonna have to pull them up and see what's going on with them because they they were reading moisture last time a moisture reader was on them so that's kind of a big job to be honest I, I would almost rather there be like a big spot in the deck that we just tackle and it's done but pulling all this up is kind of a you can do it it's not I mean it's not like you have a huge soft spot in your deck but it is kind of a pain it's a big thing to have to do so so these sails are shot they are coming undone uh, I can't really get the main sheet out but it looks like it's in just as bad or worse condition than this one. The sails are gone. <laughs> so, we need new sails. Some of the running rigging's not horrible, but most of it needs to be replaced. These are getting kind of old. And back to the sails. The sails are ripped bad. Yeah, they all new. I don't love this system here. This obviously used to be like a, an in-mass furler system and it no longer is. And I don't really know what to do about that, to be honest. I wouldn't mind putting a lazy jack system on it. I also wouldn't really mind having the in-mass furler system, but I don't know at this point. Like, can I, can I get, um, can I, can I put the, can I put that back? Can I put a, a, a sail? back in this in mass furler system or like I don't understand the tracking of those I have no idea so if you know please tell us in the comments below we'll need some help with this I just don't love this system I don't know if we would keep this or not I have no idea so so she definitely needs some bright work that's not a big deal though I know like a lot of people hate doing bright work but I actually I don't mind it that much I mean it's not even really that hard I mean it's just a lot of it's a lot of sanding and it can be really overwhelming when, when a boat has a lot of teak and the interior of this boat has a lot of teak. Thank God, like the interior is, is mostly okay. But yeah, all the, all the teak out here on the deck is definitely going to need some bright work. So I know this canvas is looking pretty bad too. I don't, I mean, we're not going to keep this canvas on here, obviously. It's pretty shot, but maybe we would keep it just, you know, while we're working on the boat. But once the boat goes in the water and we're having fun with it, I'd, I think we would just pull it off and maybe build a hardtop anyway. 
Um, I would much rather have a hard top. Canvas is expensive. You have to replace it. The Isinglass gets weird and it's just a never ending thing. I would rather build a hard top for it. Um, maybe we could do that ourselves. I know a lot of people do them themselves. Um, one of my big concerns though is this over here. So this pilot house right here was reading moisture throughout pretty much and when we go inside you'll see that a lot of the wood inside is like completely rotten. I don't really know. I don't want to rebuild this pilot house. I don't know what we would do about that to be honest that that's a really big job it's kind of it's a bigger job than building you know a hard top you know for the the Dodger this isn't something that I really want to take out and try to redo and if I did I would want to like salvage I would want to keep this stuff and, and put it back in but that's that's not something I really want to do like you know for us to do but maybe we'd have to hire someone so hopefully it's a job that if we bought the boat we could like put it off for a while but I, I don't know it's um but it's a tough call because like I said on the inside there's so much rot that I don't know I don't know what we would do so yeah you can see this canvas is really shot but there is solar but we don't have any idea if any of the these systems work at all um I don't I don't think it's that old but I, I we don't know if it works we have this uh this pulley system here that's great we have more solar up here and this bimini top I don't love I don't really love this setup we might would just pull it all down and, and do something different I have no idea we do have a davit system back here it looks like a pretty strong one and it's I mean the holes are already in the deck I don't see any reason to take this off and put a new system this is pretty good um, it is connected to this I don't know we're, I mean, I would rather have a davit system than put my tender on the deck always, so good with that. The steering seems to work okay. Seems to feel like it's going. It's pushing. They feel okay. We don't know about the bow thruster. Bow thruster works. Um, I don't know. It's going to definitely need electronics. None of the electronics are firing off, and the ones that do don't work 100%. does have autopilot on it, which, if it worked, would be awesome. So there's some aging Garmin's on here. Uh, they're not firing off. Does it mean... It doesn't mean that it's not the breaker it and turned on it downstairs, but they're not working for me right now. Get in here. came in was start opening these like really dark red curtains that I like cannot stand and they don't slide that easily but also they just I mean these are like those cheap little rods there's there's no way that we can leave this system this is cracked but it's only cracked on the outside so that's cool at least but yeah I don't know I mean pretty much 
technically, I guess the whole pilot house needs to be rebuilt. I mean, but look at all of this like fabulous woodwork that we would have to like put back in somehow. That's that's the hard part is what do we do? Do we just like seal it up somehow so it doesn't get any more wet and then just hope that you can get another, you know, 50 or 60 years out of the boat? Because I don't want to rip any of this out, really. I mean, that would just be such a shame. That's like one of the most beautiful parts of the boat, you know? But I mean, it is so rotten. It's so rotten. It does have a helm in here in the galley. I don't know how much I like that because the settee's in the way. So I guess you're driving from standing right here and then you just really can't see anything. You're running off radar in AIS. Yeah, you definitely can't see much here. There's not really any way to sit here and do this for an hour without standing. So there is a nice galley. Gotta give it that. Gimbal, stove, freezer, refrigerator, but you even got a microwave, even though I think they cut out a chunk there to get the microwave in and out, which is ridiculous. I would spend all day getting that stove out before I cut this wood in here. But people do what people do. Yeah, I like that it's a galley up pilot house model. Um, I've always really liked that, especially like in the Formosas. And I like having the settee up here like this. Because when you get these out of here, there's so much light in here. I think we would probably do something like a sheer white curtain or something. So it lets a lot of natural light in. And um, yeah, I don't know. These, these cushions, it looks like they're not all here. And I think we would just have to do all new cushions. Uh, because even, even the vinyl is like pretty shot. This is really bad right here. And if we were going to charter the boat, people don't want to see vinyl looking quite this rough. Rough around the edges is one thing. This is a bit much. Um, so yeah, I think we'd have to do all new cushions and vinyl and that is not cheap at all. So this is going down into one of my favorite little spaces. Um, when you get down here, there's a roll top desk right here. So this would actually give me a place to work. And if we were chartering the boat and I'm you know, still brokering and things like that, this would be a great place for me to have a place to, to, to do my work. Um, there's a bar in here. Um, we did open this at one point. I forgot how it... Oh, yeah. Did it go like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So check this out. There's a... Um, look at this. Yeah. Full, full bar in here. So that's really cool. And I'm not going to open this one, but yeah. Storage throughout here. We've got these nice handrails up here. And um, I know down here we have a washer and dryer. Oh. These are kind of sticking a little bit, but now I have no idea if this actually works. We don't know. Um, hopefully it doesn't leak. Washers and dryers are one of those things that like you think you want it, you put it on the boat, and usually they're so small you end up not using them, but the biggest problem with having a washer and dryer on a boat is most of the time they end up leaking. So if you're gonna have your washing machine on your sailboat, you have to pay attention to whether or not it's leaking. So I would really like to know if this has been leaking and if it works because, hey, you know, some of these things, it's like if they work, then the boat is worth more, but if we don't know if they work, then we don't wanna pay for something that we don't really know about, so, you know. All right, so on this side, we have a another settee. Um, to me, that kind of feels like a little bit of wasted space. I would have rather seen this be like a really small twin cabin or something, but hey, um, I assume this probably goes down and maybe makes a bed, maybe not. I mean, the woodwork down here is still really nice and it doesn't need bright work or anything like that down here. The handrails are still intact. Yeah, this this little area looks really nice. There's a lot of woodwork going on here and you know, it just adds to the the flavor of the boat, but um so now that I'm down here, I do see that these little things sit in here and this does turn into a bed, so that is pretty cool. Actually, we might would just like set it up like that and just make this feel like a big chill area. That could be kind of cool actually. But the problem is uh this right here. 
Um, you can see, if you'll come around here, you can see that there's actually some big holes in the floor. And instead of dealing with this when they put this in, they just duct taped it. So this is definitely something that we would be dealing with. I don't know if we would just get a new mount or what, but um, yeah, we got to figure out what to do here because I don't want duct tape and holes in the floor. So we, we have to figure that one out. All right, here's where we get serious. <laughs> so the mast is sinking, right? You guys know that already. Um, you can see where this wood is kind of like, it's having an issue here. And, and right here, this is like really kind of rotted out. So what we would have to do is we'd have to somehow, and this doesn't look easy to be honest with you, but we have to pull this whole mast out of the boat. And then underneath here, we need to fabricate some kind of stainless, um, like a some sort of support for, for the compression post um, to bring this back up and then reinstall this so that it has some support so it doesn't keep sliding down in. I don't really know the repercussions of you know, like what happens if this keeps going and going? Do we lose the keel or what? I'm not really sure, but I don't want to find out. So, but this is a really big job because it means we have to take the whole mass out of this boat and it's going to rip up part of the floor. And this little area right here is going to be a huge mess. So this is the part that we are not looking forward to the most. For me, this is kind of a big deal because, you know, whatever the boat is worth, I mean, take a chunk out because like how much is it going to cost us to pull this mast out like the shipyard has to do this this isn't something that we can do we have to get the mast out of here and then we have to fabricate something which we're not fabricating it we're going to have somebody else build that and then maybe we could put it down there to support it but you know putting it back in and all that stuff that's that's out of our hands that's just something that we have to hire people to do and that's i mean i have no idea what, what that cost does anybody know what that costs because i sure don't that looks rotten That's not good. No bueno. Oh, so, yeah, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of problems. A lot of headache right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a cockroach. Ah! That's a problem for me. Well, it's full of it because the boat's full of rot and it's in the tropics. Okay. Yeah. So. So we need roach bombs for anything. I'll spray the thing and kill them all. Yeah. I don't do roaches like at all. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. Ah! Jesus. There's a shower in here. It's not a wet head. Why don't you come in here with that light so we can see? That looks like a bathtub. It is, I think, I don't know, I can't tell. You got the light, it's dark in there. Do we know where that roach went? Yeah, come on, you're fine. Would you please come on? I'm coming, I'm coming. I like that mirror. That's fancy. Okay, so yeah, I'm really happy that this isn't a wet head. Well, this is a decent little cabin. It's got its own head that's a decent sized bunk. Look at all the storage. I don't understand why people do the things they do on boats like that. There may be cockroaches in there. You need exposure therapy. No, I don't. Cockroach thing. No, I don't. I had exposure, exposure therapy just the other day. That was one of my Jeep. I was going to get back one, in it for like two one. hours. We need to get you around like 50. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. That sounds like a nightmare. It is. But then one's not so bad afterwards. No. Mm -mm. I like this. There's a lot of room, a lot of storage. Shares a closet with that cabin. Actually, these bunks aren't that short. You know, pinch you could stay up here. But it looks like they turned it into the garage that's what we would do with it if we're working on the boat we need our tools and everything I know it. It's it seems like nice. such a waste no it's not I know. it seems like a huge waste no because we need all the tools to work in here we need storage for charters and all sorts you're of right. things you're right 
it seems like such a waste. It doesn't matter. You can say it 50,000 times. You don't need this. I could put all of these tools in three bags and store them underneath something and you don't lose this. But I know everybody does it. I know. Cords burn out. Somehow, some way, this thing has a shore power wiring problem. That's not the only one, too. There's two of those. No, two. they tried to plug one on in here at the shipyard and burn it out also. Why do you think it's doing that? I don't know until I get to start tra tracing wires and testing stuff and figuring it out. So... Obviously, something's cross-wired and not grounded properly. Most likely. I don't know. It could be just be wired wrong. Guy could have put a new plug on there and rewired it. Oh. There's a lightsaber. It opens from that side as well. There's things in here. Looks like a shaft packing. There's a 22 Magnum. God bless America. Can I have that? I don't know. Is it stealing? No. Give me that. I need that. Well, I like, can't... I legitimately need that. I can't find them anywhere. Can I have that, please? Can I please have that? If you can reach it, I can oh, reach it. I can it. definitely get that. I can't reach it. I got it. Plenty of storage. Where are you looking at storage? No room to dance. It's a problem with these boats. No room to dance. On the deck. Then everybody can see you. I know. I dance like a white dude. That's all right. Yeah. This is a great aft cabin, though. Look at that. Look at that berth. Is that berth big enough for you, Hal? Yeah. I'd say so. Why don't you get up there and lay down? Yeah, no, you get up there and lay down. Look at how No, I'm not getting is. up there. There could be roaches. There. That's dirty. We we need new mattress. But that looks like a really new mattress. I would steam clean that and just keep it. I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It might be moldy now. Yeah. Get a new mattress. We're renting a place out. Look at that big dirty spot in the middle. What's wrong with you? Yeah, okay. That's fair. <laughs> Lots of good storage in here, though. So if we're, like, living on the boat and this is our cabin, we have tons of space for all of our things. You can, like, live comfortably in here, at least. And, uh, look, there's two hanging lockers. One, two. I'm so on board with that. No pun intended. Yeah. I even like this doodad. You got a makeup place. Yep, there's a vanity here. Some little doors. I feel like, yeah. Air conditioner's under there. Okay, so I don't know about the AC on this boat. We don't know if it works, right? Because it wasn't tested. I don't know. That looks, that looks nasty. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, at least it's a cheap one. Yeah, so it might be replacing some AC units. Is that? Yeah, that doesn't look like it's. Got yeah, a whole nother head back. Yep. So. And I found out where that other, other aft door head. goes. Aft head is pretty nice. That's actually... Get another one of these cool mirrors. And a big roomy shower here. So this is actually concerning here because um, everything's touching me now, I'm scared. This has obviously been wet. This is rotten wood right here. And this is separating. So I don't know what's going on with this, but um, that needs to be addressed for sure. Well, that inspection plate sitting right there would be easy to get off and find out. Yeah. 
It um, actually looks like it's been a problem for a while with all the different screws and the stripped out screws. And yeah. Yeah, they've definitely made a mess of this. This isn't great. Look at that one, you know. Like, what is even happening? Yeah. That's a great way to rip your head open. Yeah. Okay, so, um, big concerns with the boat are the mast, the sails, all of the cushions and vinyl, mattresses, things like that. Um, those things add up very quick and they're very expensive. Um, the rudder. Well, yes, there's some fiberglass work. The hole needs to be painted. The bottom is done, but the top side needs paint. Pilot house is rotten. That's a problem. I don't know what we would do about that. We would ride it out until we had to do something. Yeah. As that's long as it's solid when though. you walk on it. Uh, the other thing is canvas. I don't think we would buy new canvas. Um, I don't love the look of canvas on these classic boats. Anyway, I think that we would just build a hard top. But that's um, just not happening. Yeah, for a while we probably just wouldn't have one. But I've been on boats, my life on my boats, all day, every day, with no top ever. I know. Until so you came along. It's doable. Yeah, totally. But in time, I think we would build, we would build the hard dodger. So um, an, another big thing to mention is, so there was a survey done on this boat, and it was a great survey, but because this boat is sitting on the hard. No, like a lot of the systems we can't test so gosh what does that include that's like engine the, generator the engine yeah the the ac system like we were talking about packing of the, the packing leak steering yeah i mean the boat needs obviously a ton of work and the deal is right now is the boat's bank owned and we would basically just be making an offer but we have no idea what that offer would be because um you know, the bank is inevitably going to take a loss on it, but it's, you know, how much of a loss are they going to be willing to take? How much is the boat even worth? Like, we don't, we don't really know how much the boat is worth without really knowing. Much. Well, yeah, I mean, I get that it needs a lot of work, but it still has value. But the point is, is what is that number? What is that number? Because we don't know. And the reason why we don't know is because you can't test these systems. It does have a number. It obviously has a number. They can't, the bank won't put it in the water until it's insured. They can't get insurance on the boat until they fix problems. They don't want to fix the problems because they cost so much. So the number is the things don't work. That's not a number. The number is the engine doesn't work. The air conditioner doesn't That's work. That's my point. The washer and dryer. So that number is what? 35, 40,000? I don't know. 35, 40,000. Okay. We don't know the number because here's the deal. If we knew for a fact, if this boat was wrapped up and in the water and we knew that the AC systems work, that the engine works and the generator works and like, what else? Everything, the refrigeration, I mean, all of it. Like if we knew that all of these things worked, then we would throw a much higher offer, obviously, because we'd say, oh, well, we don't have to, you know, replace the engine or the generator, da, 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 da. But um, as a buyer, I can't assume. I mean, one can say, well, yeah, all that stuff was working, you know, a year or whatever ago when it was in the water, but as a buyer, Fatal prove words. it. Prove it. Like, Do you have any idea how many systems I fixed and or replaced where the guy said, yeah, it was working like, we're perfect last time I used it, fired yeah. right off. Right. So if we were to say, <laughs> oh, well, this stuff probably works, you know, we'll give you 50000 for it. Okay. But then if we buy it and like, let's say none of that stuff works. Well, then we're screwed because we've just spent $50,000 on a boat that is, I don't want to say trash. The boat's not trash. Somebody could give this boat a lot of life, but man, it's going to take a lot. And that just eats into the budget. If we overpay, that eats into our budget to bring it back to what it really needs to be. And we want to bring this boat back to what it really needs to be. So, you know, we've we got to find a number in there somewhere that would really make it worth it. So... Um, we're interested in hearing your thoughts. I know we did um, an Instagram reel and a YouTube short on this video, and we talked about it in our live video last week. And you know, a, a lot of you guys said uh, no, hard pass, like don't don't even bother. But then we had some other people that said no, like you can 
you can totally charter this boat. And, and we're not idiots. We are boat people. We are capable. We can do a lot of the work ourselves, and we're happy to do that. I mean, obviously, we don't we don't want a huge project, but it's what we can afford. So um, we are working with a really limited budget, and we are considering buying this boat. But, I mean, let's be real. This boat needs stuff that we can't do on our own. So, I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, my gosh, like, it needs a ton of bright work. Okay, well, like, get out there and get to work. Like, maybe it's $20,000 worth of bright work. It doesn't matter to me because I'm doing it myself. Um, $200 worth of sandpaper. Right, yeah. I mean, sandpaper is extremely expensive. So, I mean, it's not extremely expensive, but it's one of those things that when you have a bunch of wood to sand, oh my gosh, like, sandpaper adds up, like, what did fully they aware. There? Huh? Oh, I don't know. It looks like they shoved a towel in something. It's, why did people do this to the boat? I don't know. I don't know. People do really weird things to boats sometimes. I think it's when they don't really know what to do, they just do weird things, because they're like, and then something weird's happened, but... <laughs> like no, like taking a chunk out of the freaking wood that like you can never get back really now. Boat people. No. And I think a lot of people don't really appreciate what they have. Like this is a Taiwan build. It's a classic boat. It's a 1987. Um so it's an I don't want to say it's an old er It's not a new Taiwan build, that's for sure, but it's not one of those early leaky tiki's. It's definitely not that. I mean, they had fiberglass figured out at this point. It's dangerous. The longer I sit here and look, the what? whole four glass is cracked. I know, That'll I said that. about one wave. It's only on the outside, though. Like, the, the this whole side is, like, looking really solid, at least. So, I don't know. I, I think... Replaced. Yeah. <coughs> you know, and it might Water's be possible... Heavy. It might be possible to come in to these areas between the nice wood to, like, just replace that or something. I don't know. This is something that someone's going to have to look at it and tell us what to do there because... Maybe it's something that we can do, but someone's going to have to advise us on the best way to go about that so it's done correctly. Um, but yeah, the boat needs new topside paint. It needs... I'd probably just go ahead and, you know, paint the deck and everything. Make it sharp. Make it nice. So, um, with that being said, yeah. This boat needs a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. It's got a lot of stuff. I, on. I mean... I don't know. Less uh, is more on. I, I know that the the top of this pilot house was also reading moisture, and I don't want to like do anything with these beams or anything. So I don't know how far that comes through. I know over here we can see where there's maybe some some moist, but um, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. But I would hate to see, you know, let's say that we didn't buy the boat, and the next person that bought it just didn't didn't do anything with it and, and just never took care of it, this boat would just would just rot away and it would just go away, you know? Probably and what's gonna happen to it. I'm sure, like if if we don't buy it that it's very possible that that's what happens to it'll it. It'll never sell for what the bank probably wants. It, no, it'll I don't yeah. I don't think it'll ever sell for that much. I mean And they're upside down in it. They'll never get their money out. No. Yeah, I mean I think that, you know, whatever boat we get, I think that um you know, liability insurance obviously like you have to have for some of these marinas, but um, I don't know how far we would go into insurance. I don't know how far we'd be required to go, honestly. But, I mean, having good coverage on an old boat like this is going to be probably very expensive and, and maybe maybe difficult. Maybe impossible. impossible. I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Green giant. Yeah. Mm, that makes me want We'll go get beans. some green beans. You want to eat it? You want to get a po' folks? It's right on the way home. I'll take you to Poe, folks. <laughs> I want to go to Poe. Buy you some green beans. I want some green beans. So easy to please this woman. I love green beans. I'll get you uh, chicken fried chicken and green beans. <gasps> I think I just went cross-eyed. I think you did, too. You want to get some Poe, folks? Let's get some Poe, folks. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we now have Patreon. It is down below. Um, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be all set up for you guys, so we encourage you, please, like, help us out. Just, like, send these videos to your friends. Um, you know, the more subscribers and the more views we get, the more we can do videos like this. So, um, yeah, consider joining us on Patreon. There is a little fee. You can do the really expensive one, or you can do the really cheap one, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for helping us hit a thousand subscribers because on our last video we were not even close to a thousand subscribers and then you guys did it like almost overnight. It was like over the course of like two days. Don't you say to wrap this up quick? 
We're trying to wrap this up quick. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.